Hey, it's JC1424 once again, and this is a, a refreshed uh, YouTube video of me playing uh, Gran Turismo on PSP. Uh, this is the Jaguar XJ uh, XRJ220, and uh, this is a replay. Uh, all driving assists are turned off, uh, except for the TCS, which I keep on five in most cars, race cars, sports cars. And everything else is off and I'm in manual transmission. So I'm gonna guide you on how awesome lap. Upcoming is the most amazing turn I've ever taken in this game. So we're gonna focus on this right here. It was amazing. Right here, this turn. You have to see this. Oh my god, I am a badass. I drifted the entire turn. Okay. That this is Gran Turismo PSP. You have no idea how lucky you have to get to do something like that and not hit the wall or anything. That was perfect. And the rest of it was fairly easy. Um, pretty simple. You just don't floor it too much out of the turns. Be careful to tap it and so that you don't uh, hold it down and then your car will start sliding because of its uh, out of control speed. But it's good. You, uh, just uh, be careful. You tap the arrows to get the car staying its line break at the right times. This is a uh, Code Deser and the Jaguar XJR220, uh, something like that, race car. And this was really the only turn I messed up. I know I can drive that turn better, but I kind of uh, jumped at it at that turn. So that's really the only place I messed up. And as I come out of the last turn, Come to the finish line, you get to see the uh, the uh, all camera angle, uh, the all camera angle um, version of it. The thing about the all camera angle version of it is that you know you get to see the car flying from different angles. The drift doesn't look very good, considering you can't see the car entirely and it doesn't look so badass as it did whenever the camera's behind the car. But uh, mainly, um, I don't commentate on the uh, multiple camera angle version of it because it's better off just to have music, you know, part of my uh, Gran Turismo PSP customized soundtrack playing while it's doing that. And the, the song that was playing in the repo, or the, the repo, the replay originally was Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force, which is one of the 15 songs I include in my customized Gran Turismo soundtrack, which it gives you the option to in the game. And uh, uh, there was also Fuel by Metallica, but the thing was that, kind of, that song is kind of um, explicit. It has a, bad, a few bad words in it. I think it's just one, though. And I'll probably have that in some other video some other day. So, uh... Enjoy. This is what I'm capable of in Gran Turismo for PSP. It's not as much as it was for that new one I released. Um, the, uh, what is it? It's a Pescarolo Courage C60 race car by Citroën. That one was extremely hard. And it didn't look so badass because it didn't have really drifts or anything like that, but it was extremely hard because it's a GT1. So make sure you see that one after you see this one. This is the multiple camera angle, so enjoy.
me driving the uh, Jaguar, the Jaguar, really, did I really just say that? Um, the Jaguar XJR, XRJ220 race car, and uh, that was my lap time at Cote d'Azur with um, uh, 1 minute and 34 points. 687 seconds. I don't know why I said the last numbers wrong in my other video. It was uh, just weird. 4, 5, 4. It was, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was it right there. 1 minute and 34.687 seconds. I try to beat that in my um, setup with the TCS on 5. All the driving assist off. You know, TCS is also driving assist, but hey, I can't control the wheel spin in a race car in Gran Turismo. It doesn't have uh, pressure-sensitive buttons. And then the manual transmission, make sure you have that. You definitely have to have a manual transmission in Gran Turismo to test your ability of, like, you know, simulation and whatever. And then, uh, that's about it. So, subscribe, make sure you see some of my other videos, because... I am pretty good when it comes to racing games, and that's what I do mostly. And then there's music. I've got some more Gran Turismo stuff coming soon. Then there's A2D Off-Road Fury, NASCAR on PSP, and NASCAR Thunder 2004. And someday I'll have some other stuff for you to see. So enjoy. And, well, actually, you already did enjoy, so say something else. Uh, episode over. I guess that's what I usually say.